The Honourable Robert Borzak. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. President, I give notice that on the next sitting day I will move one that this House affirms its support for recognising that the no-body, no-parole laws in the Crimes Administration and Sentences Act 1999, passed in 2022, be recognised as Lynn's Law in memory of Lynette Sims. Two, that this House notes that a Lynette Joy Sim, uh, Dawson, nay Sims was a Sydney woman who disappeared on, the, on or about the 8th of January 1982, leaving two daughters and her husband, Chris Dawson. B. Lynette Sims' whereabouts were and still are unknown, but two coron coronial inquests found that she had been murdered. C. On the 30th of August 2022, Chris Dawson was convicted of Lynette's, uh, Lynette's murder and sentenced to 24 years in prison with a non-parole period of 18 years for the murder of Lynette. D, prompted by the Dawson murder case in October 2022, the New South Wales government passed the No Body, No Parole legislation requiring that offenders must cooperate with investigators and disclose the location of victims' remains to have any chance of being released on parole. D, for over 40 years, Lynette Sims's family have suffered the pain of not knowing what happened to her. Both Lynn's parents both passed away in 2001, never knowing what happened to their beloved daughter or having closure and be able to pay their proper respects to her memory with Lynette's children and family. Four, that this House calls on the government to acknowledge that a the Dawson family, sorry, the Dawson murder case prompted by the, 20, the 2022 No Body, No Parole Amendments of the Crimes Administration of Sentences Act 1999, and b in recognition of this, the New South Wales No Body, No Parole laws in the Crimes Administration Sentences Act be known as Lynn's Law. Thank you. Mr Higginson. 